Hello and welcome back to Bob Salutes. Keep in mind that I've got Tourette's and Autism, so if I go, mm, or Avenger and Gen Jenny and I, or, or go, mm, or that or whatever, or do long pauses and all that, it's usually because of my autism and Tourette's, and because I don't know what to say. Right, today we're going to be talking about the bar the Farthingwood Kickstarter project that I want to do. Right, so, I've been talking to my mum about this and she said maybe in September, maybe as a Kickstarter project, maybe I should start off local first. So maybe I should make these videos as local videos and, and, and do more Bob salutes and all that, and Bob discuss these videos. Because what I need is I need £600 each for the actors, £600 for John Glover, £600 for Rupert Farley. And as you can see... Sorry for that, because that's my autism, I can't help it. This is a letter from John Glover. I've also got an email from Rupert Farley. I believe that I should talk to Sally Grace and all that. I apologise for accidentally ringing her husband in the middle of the night. Well, maybe not accidentally, but that's another story. And and what I was thinking was, as a stretch goal, another 600 for Sally Grace. So I also need 600 for the audio recording studio. And about 200 or possibly even another 600 for Alfin Lloyd-Jones to do the artwork for the CD case. And another stretch goal might be radio syndication, though I'm not sure if I want that to happen or not. And I'd rather have it as a CD, and I'll list everyone's who didn't, and I'll list a couple of people who donate the products' names on the CD. If they donate ten pounds or more, then their prof, then then all profits from the CD will go to the Fox Sanctuary, National Fox Welfare Society in Rushton. Now, if you donate more than ten quid. This is a potential Kickstarter project, by the way, so it's not happening just yet, and it and it's really subject to what I think and all that. Now, if you donate more than ten quid, then if you donate more than ten quid, then you will you will be able to go to the National Fox Welfare Society and meet me, John Glover and Rupert Farley. We of course will be doing a fox adoption, a fox adoption program, and what we'll do is that me, Rupert Farley, and John Glover will uh, will sponsor a fox, and we'll name it after a Farthingwood character. However, it won't be able to be tracked, so this is just a temporary sponsorship. But we will name some of the foxes after Farthingwood characters. It's, the story is basically going to be about Scarface and Foxy spirits. Scarface and Foxy spirits talking to e talking to each other. Yeah, um, in 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 White Deer Park, but it's their spirits because it's 20 years after the events of of Farthing of Farthingwood season three. Fox has died of old age. Bold might reveal that he didn't die, that he didn't die, and that he encounters the spirits and all that, and he's the only one who can encounter spirits. I know it sounds ridiculous, but Infinite Warfare was considered ridiculous, and that was still quite a good game in my opinion. Yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting story. Also, For two thousand. Also, I'm going to collect a Mania 24 this year, hopefully, to meet David Prowse and Sylvester McCoy and Bonnie Langford, and I may be able to ask Bonnie Langford about what it's like to be in a TV show featuring Ron Moody, or if she knows who Ron Moody is. If you are thinking about making a donation, even though this won't happen until the potential kickstart project is revealed. Let me know in the comments box below. Yeah, 
the comments box is very important. You can let me know of your opinions, your donation ideas, if you want to donate, and whether the three companies, Voice Shop, Sally Grace, uh, Voice Squad, Calypso Voices, John Glover, and Voice Squad, Rupert Farley, because they could possibly co-brand and work on this. I reckon rival voice agencies are allowed to work with each other, but I'm not totally sure. If not, I've got a backup plan. I'll have Oliver Dimsdale play Fox, and Cara Theobald from Downton Abbey and Overwatch. This may require 1,000 stretch gold to portray Weasel, and Ethan Who the Fid. Oh wait, no, because Badger isn't going to be in this one. And someone who can do Scarface's voice. If you're John Glover or Rupert Farley, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're related to him, you can let me know in the comments below. Because that would be really fascinating. Because I know Ron Moody's son. And I know one of Rupert Farley's sons as well. My uncle-in-law is Nigel Planer from The Young Ones. He knows a thing or two about Collectomania. And also, just one minute. And also, if you. And also, I know Roger Plainer, he was a massive fan of that show. Welcome to part two. That was just my mum talking to me about Roger Planer. Apparently I've learned he does voiceovers, so I could ask him how the system works and all that. He does voiceovers for a professional job. I'm not sure what voice agency he's affiliated with though, but I don't think he's affiliated with the three I mentioned. I'm going to clip this together in Sony Vegas. And then, and then, we'll be talking about this voiceover thing. In fact, I think we should go, this video should be released on the 25th instead of the 24th so that I can have time to edit it. Because I'm thinking about making a part three and showing you stuff from my laptop. Alright. Welcome to part three. It's better to be cranky. Alright. Where we talk, where I browse on my laptop and tell you any information I get from my laptop. I know you can't see my head, but that is because I know that cinematography is a very, very hard art. I understand that I am potentially bad at cinematography. If not, at least you'll hear my audio commentary. Oh, here we go, United Agents. This is their agency. And this, over here, is my uncle-in-law. I'll show you the three actors who I want. On the short... Just having a little look. And finally, no. I'm going down, I'm scrolling down, there he is, the glove, what hasn't he done, 
From high farce, Harry Enfield and Chums, to satire, Bremner, Bird and Fortune, and they didn't mention cartoons like Farthing Wood. With heaps of proper acting thrown in, John is highly respected and universally acclaimed. The co he is one of the Britain's best-loved impressionists, after all. The consummate pro, urbane, erudite and a very safe pair of tonsils. His comic creations and impressions are classic and his warm, straight voice is a delight. Free Mobile, Vodafone, Parrot Bay, not the Pirate Bay, Parrot Bay, TFL, Boots, Toyota, Spitfire Ales, Old Speckled Hen, British Airways. Then we've got Sally Grace, who is the voice actor of Weasel, an owl, and here is a sample of her portraying owl. Never saw me life, not ever. He says he doesn't know you, and I believe him. I owe you. Ah, at last, a sensible bird. You remember Fox and the Farthing Wood animals? Here we no. go. You and I, we met in the bell tower with the bats, but you flew off before I could say. That's the moth-eaten rook. This is Rupert Farley, aka Fox. Now, unfortunately, Jeremy Barrett is probably having a relaxed life with his lie detector job. So, I'm probably going to get Rupert Farley to be the voice of Fox, and Al do the voice of Bold. Although people are going to complain that his voice acts different, I'm going to portray him. Yeah. What else? So my uncle... He knows about it. Oh, and Calypso Voices is actually significantly larger than Voice Squad and Voice Shop. Because Colin McFarlane and Simon Greenall, Alexander All of the Meerkat, and, and Sergeant Slipper in... Oh, God. Uh, Dennis the Menace is, is, is there as well. He was also in this game I loved called G-Police. And this is what Kickstarter looks like. This web page has been the home of many successful projects at Jazuya. Oh well, it wasn't successful in the long. It wasn't successful in the long run. And and of course, I think Elite Dangerous and Star Elite Dangerous and possibly Star Citizen were funded by Kickstarter. A lot of projects were. Crowdfunding is the way to go for, for this audiobook. I have to start a business and everything though, and I'm not sure about that. But still, I could possibly do it as a college project. To impress everyone. You, know, you need Rupert Farley as well. I mean, I know what Jeremy Barrett does. He's a lie detector now. If you're a relative of Jeremy Barrett, you can also inform me below in the comments. Tell you what. These things need to be discussed in the comments. Whether you're a relative of Rupert Farley, John Glover, Sally Grace, or Jeremy Barrett, because that might help me a lot. I know Jonathan Barnaby Moody, Ron Moody's son. And and I'm really good friends with him. And also, I think I remember David Holt from Noah's Island. He was in that really awesome animation that I loved called Angry Kid. I loved it as a child and it made me chuckle a lot. Also, below in the comments, discuss how much you'd be willing to pay for it. And also, I'd like to thank some members of the original Farthing Woodnet and Farthing Wood fans of DeviantArt, Arvin92, Callista Monkey, Detective RJ. I'd also like to thank people who aren't fans of Farthing Wood, like Kendo Vermeer, Yappy Fox and all that. If you ask me, I think that possibly... 
we should be doing work and farming wood very soon. I'm not sure yet, but it's still a good idea. So, to recap, business account, money, voice actors. Oh, and I forgot to show you something. Welcome to part five. Alfin Lloyd Jones. Now, Alfin Lloyd Jones still does art. He was one of the original artists for Farthingwood. This is a picture of him with one of the ducks. They kind of look like toads somehow. And this is a cow and a duck. No, Goose. Goosey and Gertrude. And look. You can clearly see that it looks like Bold. Or Badger. You can clearly see. He's a very good artist. And I'm pretty sure... And I'm pretty sure we should contact him to do the artwork. For the thing. I don't know what happened to Philip Leclerc. Because there's literally hundreds of people called Philip Leclerc. Yeah. Oh, I'll see. different Philip Leclerc with Mass Effect and whatever inspired art. I'm not sure, but I think he's French. So and I'm and I don't know a lot about France, so Alfin Lloyd Jones it is. I'm going to be recording part 6 in a minute. And all these parts will be clipped together in a Sony Vegas video. Right, welcome to the final part, part 6. If you've been watching this, you, you may already know this, but this video has been edited on Sony Vegas. And is a collaboration of parts from part 1 to part 6. Maybe part 7, I'm not sure. But I needed to shoot it in different scenes because my camera has a 20 minute limit. If I had a proper camcorder I might be able to record longer conversations. And yes, if, you, if it's under the 20 minute limit, let me know. Right, so this is about farthing wood. Sorry, I'm a little fly. Uh, well, well, you should know by now that I have Tourette's and autism. I do like farthing wood a lot, and and like I said, this video has been edited in Sony Vegas. We collaborated together. If you do not think this is a good video, tell me. But be constructive. I don't want any vulgar criticism and really vulgar insults and all that. Because I don't accept it. Remember, if you think the project is a good idea, let me know in the comments box below. In fact, it may not be the 25th, it may be the 24th. It depends on how much time I've got. But we'll see. Yeah. Alright. One more thing. This is a potential Kickstart project. It's not been announced. It's not on Kickstarter. And, it's, and it may not happen. 
So just remember that. And the fact, fact, that I'd like to thank all of my friends, Callista Monkey, Detective RJ, Frey Fox, those who weren't involved in Farthing Wood, like Vermeer, and Digger Pencil, special thanks to you, Digger Pencil, and, of course, Matty Mafia's Rat. Vermeer and Mafia's Rat were more obsessed with Redwall, and you can easily contact their actors on Twitter like Tyrone Savage and Jake Goldsby. Anyways, if you like, I will... Anyways, like I said, if you're a relative of one of the actors, tell me. And remember, this might not be a popular video, it may only have 60 views, but I am going to revive this show somehow. but I'm going to be making loads of videos. Also, special thanks for Ben Valooney and Headphones UK for inspiring me. Alright, this is Bobby, signing out and saluting.